in the quiet town of Central City where the streets were lined with old trees and the houses bore histories as rich as the soil beneath them. A sinister shadow lurked. For weeks, the peaceful neighborhood near Gish Park had been plagued by a string of mysterious disappearances. Cats, beloved companions of many residents, vanished without a trace. Concerns spread like wildfire among the residents about a fearsome creature to prowl the streets at night. Parents warned their children to stay indoors after dusk, and rumors swirled like autumn leaves in the wind. But amidst the fear and uncertainty, six boys rose to the challenge. Their names were Grant, Randall, Courtney, Craig, Kelly, and Marvin. They were inseparable friends bound by a common sense of adventure and justice. Determined to uncover the truth behind the disappearances, they formed a secret pact under the cover of darkness. Armed with nothing but flashlights, baseball bats, a map of the neighborhood, and a shared determination, the boys set out on their quest. They scoured every alley, every hidden corner, searching for any clue that might lead them to the elusive copper. Their first breakthrough came when Kelly stumbled upon a set of large paw prints etched into the soft earth of a flower bed. Excitement surged through the roof as they followed the track deeper into the heart of the woods near Gish Park. As the night wore on, their journey led them to a forgotten part of town, an overgrown area called Holy Town that was swallowed by darkness and fog. It was there, beneath the twisted branches of an ancient oak tree, that they finally came face to face with a creature responsible for the cat's disappearances. With eyes gleaming like amber in the moonlight, the creature emerged from the shadows. A massive, for all cat unlike any they had ever seen. His fur was matted and tangled, his claws razor sharp and glinting with menace. But the boys did not falter. Armed with baseball bats and makeshift weapons, fashioned from sticks and stones, they stood their ground against the fearsome beast. With a battle cry, they echoed through the night. They charged forward the hearts pounding with adrenaline. The ensuing fight was fierce and chaotic, a whirlwind of claws and teeth and desperate cries. But the boys fought with courage, born of desperation and determination. They dodged and weaved, striking blows whenever they could, until finally, with a mighty roar, they emerged victorious. The creature lay defeated at their feet, his reign of terror about to an end. As dawn broke over the horizon, the boys returned to Gish Park as heroes, their faces smeared with dirt and sweat, but their spirits soaring with triumph. Word of their bravery spread like wildfire throughout the neighborhood, and the people of Central City rejoiced. The remaining cats were now safe and peace was restored once more to the quiet streets. And though their adventure had come to an end, the bond forged between Grant, Randall, Courtney, Kelly, Craig, and Marvin would endure for a lifetime, a testament to the power of friendship and the courage of youth in the face of darkness.